Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. I am going to be doing day 17 of the daily scripture writing. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So as you see, or you can see a little bit, my desk has changed um, a little bit. I cleaned it all off and I just have the things that I'm going to be using or just deco. So yeah. So it's going to be Psalms 25, 6 through 12. As you can see, we already have it set up. And this is for January 17th. I keep forgetting to show you this list um, right here. So you can find um, this list at Purposeful Pause is for the month. But where you can find it is Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, Wojo, W-O-J-O. And it's a Bible reading plan and journal challenge. Well, what I am doing is the uh, scripture writing of it. So it is kind of lengthy on some of these, and it's probably because it's a Bible reading plan and journal challenge. And again, it's purposeful pause. And yeah, so let's begin reading it. And Psalms 25, 6 says, Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from old. Okay, so let me repeat it again. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Of old. Okay. At first it didn't sound right. Do not remember the sin of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me for you, Lord, are good. Let me make sure the right page. Yep. And then, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All of all the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, for the sake of your name, Lord, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. I probably just said that word totally wrong, so I do want to, like, figure out what that means. So I will do a definition of what that means. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. For some reason, it's, like, so hard to read the Bible lately. And it's really not. It's just me, like... I don't know what is going on. So how is everybody doing and how is your scripture writing? I see other people are doing different ones, which is great. I'm glad you are doing scripture writing because it's a, a good outlet. You know, to get closer to the Lord and read the Bible because obviously when you're scripture writing, I don't know about you, but with me, as I just read the Bible, I read as I am writing. If that makes any sense. Like, I don't just write the word. I'm reading what I'm reading. That way I soak it in a couple of times. Even if I don't even understand it, what I'm reading at the first time, like when I'm reading it again, I get what it's saying. And then you'll hear me say, oh, wait, that's a good verse. Or, you know, I'll say something and then I'll underline what I like. Um, I am still a baby Christian and I am doing everything I can to, you know, grow. It takes time. It takes, you know, a lot of... It takes effort on your own part 
Like, you can't just expect it to happen. You have to do what it says. You have to walk, you know, the walk. You have to talk the talk. That's what I think. And I could be wrong. Yeah, so that is that. Um, I have a lot of videos going to be coming out. Um, there will be some jewelry videos coming out now that you've seen the video of, you know, hold on, I just, okay, no, okay. So you've seen the video of the jewelry and there is some faith, you know, jewelry up in there that we will be doing some, you know, things with. It's like I'm talking, my tongue, not my tongue, something like my glands or something has been hurting. So it seems like I'm talking weird. So if I am, you'll know why. My glands, I think, are the ones that are hurting. Oh, I hate getting sick though. Seven seems like it was a little long. Where are you? Oh, Lord. You know what I always forget to do? It's like when you're reading the Bible and, you, and you'll and you see, like when you're writing it, and you see like the capital Jesus and the capital for Lord, I always end up writing like lowercase, and I don't know why. This time I wrote the uppercase. But you'll notice in some of them, you'll see a lot of lowercases. And I don't get why I do that. I think it's just me writing too fast, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, so there's a lot of jewelry I will be doing. And I probably will have a giveaway with that. I hope everybody has um, got into the giveaway with the stickers. I know a lot of it is, you know, alcohol and stuff. And... I am not into drinking or anything like that, so it's going to be a waste for me. But I am not promoting drinking either, so... It's just stickers that's just going to be sitting in my room. And if someone has a glass of wine with their dinner or, you know, whatever, to each his own. I'd rather give it to somebody that's going to be able to use it. So I don't want anybody thinking, oh, well, she's giving away liquor stickers and, you know, she's promoting liquor. But no, it's just, I will never use it. So I might as well give it away to someone that will. I don't want anybody thinking, well, she does scripture reading. She's reading the Bible. And then in the one hand, she's like, oh, I got some liquor stickers for you. That's not me. I am loving how this turns out. Like, I think this is the better route for me. Because, you know, you have no other choice. What am I going to do? Skip a bunch of pages and go to the next one? The next scripture writing and keep doing it? I'm not going to waste my paper. So, yeah, I think this is the better route for me. Because... Yes, I can do it in the habit planner like I've been doing, or I can do it in, you know, a spiral notebook and just tear the page out, whatever. But this way, this book bound, yes, I could tear a page out of here, but I don't want to ruin my book. And I'm loving the way this book is going to turn out. Not only did I get you know, learning from the book, you know, of writing scripture. I'm going to have a book that has all scriptures in there. Besides whatever else I put for the, you know, faith, you know, for faith. And yeah, it's going to be where I can look back at it. I feel like I'm just talking in circles, but I can look back at it and see, oh, this is what Maserati did. 
and then one day give it to my kid and she could pass it on to her kids that's an awesome uh, like a gift that you're giving to somebody someone took the time to write verses out she'll be like oh this is what my mom did or whatever I don't know I think I'm just talking to talk <laughs> but yeah that's how I feel Keep the I love how it is really coming out. And I just bought a devotional book today, which I can show you right now. Why do I always do that? I get into these tangents. This one here, and it's going to be a good read. I was looking at it earlier, and yeah, I'm so excited to start this one. So if you want to start it together, leave a comment below, because we can start that together. The only thing is we're going to be behind because it is like a January 1st thing through, it is a 365 uh, daily readings with devotions. It's like a ringing. So I am excited to use that. I got to start using everything I get. Because it's a shame that, like, I buy a lot of stuff and then I don't use it. And this inequity, I'm going to say it is, inequity, I'm going to check on that word and see what that means. So the next time you see this, the definition will be below. And the pen that I'm using is the Tri Gel Fashion. And I want to say this is from Dollar Tree. This pen is really a very nice pen. Like, I am so impressed with this pen. The ink, normally with gel pens, the ink runs out very, very fast. This one does not have that issue. I do hear like a little squeaky when you're writing. And that could be like a piece of dust or something or something on there. But other than that, this is a really nice pen. Dries pretty quickly. Uh, sorry. Took a little yawn there. Took a little yawn like if uh, like if it was a break or something. <laughs> Do you hear that noise? It's from the pen. So that is day 17 of the daily scripture reading. I'm loving how it really is coming out. Like it's really nice. So the way I do the definitions, let's see if I can find one for you. The way I do definition is I will close it out like a normal day and then I just put the word definition and then the word that I'm looking at and then I just write out the definition. So that's how I will be doing this one. If I go find a washi tape to close it out. I think I'm going to use this one. Oh, no, I'll just use the blue one because blue and yellow go together. Yeah, so that's what I'll do and then Again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. And again, if you want to do the God's Little Devotional with, you know, with the channel, leave it in the comments below. Because I want to do other stuff other than just scripture writing with you. So I just need to know what you want to do. That is.
remove that. So thank you for watching. Talk to you in the next one. Give it a big thumbs up. Bye-bye.